Okay. okay, it should be on. Good afternoon. I think it's just afternoon. Um, it's for our new town concerts. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting direction from my, my director over here. <laughs> um, my name is Chris Savannah. I am a member of the Butler County Symphony and I'm also a member of the Butler County Symphony Association Board and I am your host for the summer uh, series of concerts. John has been filling in for me for the last couple of weeks. I had a busy summer. Um, so John, who, John Perman is our executive director. He's been here for the last couple of weeks hosting, and I'm here today. And I wanted to tell you about a couple of things. Over on the table there, we have um, a couple of items that you can pick up and take with you. Um, one of them is our educational programs. Um, we have a committee, one of our missions for the Butler County Symphony is to promote musical education in this community. So we have a lot of programs that we put forth each year and they're all outlined in the brochure. If you'd like to donate to that cause, we're always open for donations for that. Um, we also have a brochure for our, symphony, or our concert series for next year starting in October. We have six concerts. Um, that information's all in here, and you can also donate to the symphony through the information in here. Um, more recently, there's these concerts, and there's a poster back there if you wanted to take that with you, that has the list of the rest of the summer, all of the concerts that will be happening here um, at the symphony building, and also into Diamond Park, and on Facebook. That's why we have the camera here, so we're live streaming. And finally, I wanted to show you, uh, there's a flyer over there for our June concert. So we don't normally do concerts in the summer, but this year we decided to do an outdoor concert in Cranberry Park on June the 30th. It's in the amphitheater. It's a free concert. So come on out and hear the entire symphony will be there. And we'll play um, a lot of patriotic tunes, um, pretty much your, your normal patriotic summer concert. Um, but it, with the Butler Symphony. And also on that table, one last thing, are some window stickers, which I can only show you backwards because they're window stickers. Um, so if you want to grab one of those, put those in your windows, that helps us to promote the symphony. Next week for our concert, um, the MTG, some singers from Musical Theater Guild versus MTG will be here. Um, they are starting their summer show on the 17th. It's called the Great American Trailer Park. I'm going to put in a little plug for them. Please go online to, Butler, to mtgbutler.org and you can buy tickets there. Today, I have very special musicians here that came to play some music for you. These are my parents, Vincent and Claudette Sianzotti. Um, they sit and they practice and they play together almost every day um, and they've been together since high school playing together so that's just a really special thing for us. Um, it's a long time. <laughs> it is a long time. And, and so they're here to share some tunes with you and I'm going to let them explain what it is that they have to share. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to see so many people are fans of spirituals because that's what we're going to be playing today. And uh, very unusual because spirituals depend an awful lot on the words. And we're not going to use any of the words, we're going to use the melodies. Uh, and so we'd like to start with some that I'm sure you'll recognize. Some of the things we play, I'm sure you'll be able to sing along, but don't. <laughs>
words to make it a Christmas song, but the last words, Jesus Christ is Lord, instead of Jesus Christ is born. So it's really a spiritual. We're going to continue on with a, uh, another one, and this is a medley of three spirituals that have an awful lot in common. They have the same scale, uh, and uh, they pretty much deal with the same thing. The medley is called Steal Away to Heaven. It, it includes Nobody Knows the Trouble I've Seen, Sometimes I Feel Like a Motherless Child, and Steal Away. Nobody Knows. And then if you turn it around, it's Sometimes I Feel Like a Motherless Child. And then Steal Away, you may not be familiar with, but it goes like this. They all come from the same culture. It's the slave culture, and it's saying how miserable we are. And it, it, they were. So, we start a steal away to heaven. Go ahead.
last piece was I feel the spirit moving in me, and uh, the last, the fast one was every time I feel the spirit. So it's getting a little bit livelier for the um, culture, the slave culture, and uh, this one is called There is a Balm in Gilead, which I'm sure many of you know because it's, it's sung in churches quite widely even today. response, which is, I talk to you, you talk to me back. That's pretty much what call and response is. And slaves were not permitted to speak or communicate in the field. They realized that uh, if they talked, they didn't work. But they could sing. And they would sing a phrase, and somebody else would sing a phrase. And of course, the overseers didn't know what was going on. They were communicating, but they were doing it with what we know as call and response. This next piece is a good example of call and response in the spirituals. It's called Behold That Star, and it really has reference to Christmas.
what a morning. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> as most of these date back to the right after the Civil War, and uh, if we if it wasn't for a man by the name of Henry Burley who wrote these down, we wouldn't even have these. There's probably a lot that are missing because it was an oral tradition. It was just carried on from one person to another. Now we have them uh, written down in the Fisk uh, uh, University Jubilee Singers created it. We're going to turn now to what is really referred to as gospel music. And uh, this I'm sure you'll recognize right away, but it's in the gospel style.
piece that we're going to play, I'm sure you'll recognize, called the Joshua at the Battle of Jericho. on eagle's wings, and it is uh, about 1970 uh, that this was written, and uh, it is really considered a, uh, uh, a gospel piece, even though it's not as old as some of the others. So I hope you enjoy. This is on eagle's wings.
like to say that uh, we've had wonderful music in our lives, <laughs> but we've also had a wonderful family. <laughs> and I can never talk about this without <laughs> this. <laughs> but uh, I have to mention it because this is our youngest granddaughter. <laughs> we have 10 grandchildren and we have a younger grandson yet than him and four great-grandchildren. So um, thank you, Katie, this is Katie Ben. So she's been a big help to me. <laughs> We're going to close the program and thank you all for coming. And uh, please continue to come to the program all summer. Yeah. And we're going to close with the Battle of the Republic, which I'm sure you'll recognize. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, so I just wanted to, uh, again, thank you for coming. I also wanted to mention that all summer long, these musicians come and play for you for free. And so your support to the symphony is why we're here, and we're hoping that you continue to do that. My father is also a member of the symphony orchestra, and you will see more members of the symphony orchestra here this summer as the summer goes on. That said, daughter, a great youngest granddaughter who plays the piano, oldest granddaughter is playing the piano next week, and uh, she will be here with Katie and Rachel Wayne from MTG. So come see us again next week. Thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to let you know, thank you again so much for coming out. We're so grateful to have uh, the Senzatis with us. Over on the table, there are next season's brochures. Uh, there's also uh, our membership list, um, an educational brochure that talks about what we do in the schools, and uh, some, a poster, if you like, for the concerts coming up, if you know any place you'd like to post it. And there's also a window cling that goes on your back window. If you'd like one, feel free to take one. There on the table, you can take a lollipop too if you like. <laughs> but thank you so much for attending. Yep. Thank you very much.